And thank you for joining us for another live edition of All the Angles. World Standards Day is being celebrated today, October 11th, 2012. On this live program to tell us more about the world of standards development is Steve Swanson, manager of Standards Engineering at Corning Inc. He's responsible for managing the development, coordination, and communication of Corning strategy. He also represents Corning strategic interest on domestic and international standards committees. Also on the show is, is uh, Herb Congdon, Associate Vice President of Technology and Standards for TIA. And gentlemen, welcome to the program. Happy thank World you. Standards Day. Uh, ha happy World Standards Day to you too as thank well. You, and Rick. Steve, thank you for being here. Yeah. Uh, it's your first time thank in the TI now studio. Thank you for having me. Yep. Thanks. Thanks for making it in. I know you drove up from North Carolina last night, was it? I did. I did. Good, I'm glad you made it. Yep. Um, okay, so World Standards Day. Uh, Steve, I'm going to start with you. Why celebrate this particular day and why are standards, and, and pardon the softball question by the way, but why are standards so inter integral in the value chain of, of our industry right now? Well, I think, um, you know, uh, a lot of the standards work is, is driving our business uh, today and why it's important and relevant. Um, I don't think standards gets enough recognition really and it's an opportunity I think for the standards world to show our, our uh, business leadership um, you know what the benefits of, of standards are and, the, and to recognize the people involved so I think that's the primary thing. I think it's important to note that uh, you know, when, when they've done analysis in, in, in not just the consumer side but on the industry side 80 to 100 percent of, of the products and services that people are offering are standards based. So it's tremendous, you know, it's a tremendous foundation of everything that's being done, not just in our industry, but whether it's an electrical plug or anything else. And if you really want the market to grow, the standards are the way you get to do that. Anybody can come up with a one-off solution, but the real way to get the market to grow is by having standardization and interoperability with those products so that you can use them in other locations, not only just in domestically, yeah. but around the globe. And that's how the market, now that's how you turn a $2 million market into a $2 billion market. Now I had a chance to attend a standards event um, just about a few days ago actually, and there was a panel discussion about uh, the creation of standards and competing standards development organizations and whether there's too many out there and uh, when to develop a standard in, in, uh, in conjunction with the technology that's released in the market, whether it should be technology first and then standards to follow or vice versa. Mm -hmm. uh, it was an interesting conversation and uh, George Arnold of, of NIST, the uh, director of the Smart Grid, or the National Smart Grid, rather, uh, at NIST, was on that panel and actually was moderating it. And I had a chance to talk to him about that very question. Let's go ahead and roll that and be right back. 